I gotta run up to the... Yeah, wait a minute. Alright, I gotta run up to the uh, advanced auto parts store and get me some uh, silicone. And what do I need silicone for? Well, I'm gonna tell you, and then I'll shoot a video showing you what I'm fixing. Bitch, warm up, quit being a dick. You're a girl. Anyway. The other day, when I rode in the rain, I got, uh, the inside of the face shield had drips coming down inside the face shield. Well, I didn't know it until I went to clean it off today. And I cleaned it off and then I looked through it and I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. It had leaked on the inside. What the hell is flapping here? <clears throat> so. I got to checking out the helmet. And I find the visor's not sealing up on top. And I think Cash Store 1 complained about this. Or maybe he was complaining about wind noise. I'm not sure. But he put some foam up on up on the top of the visor. And he solved his that way. Well, since I got two of these, a large and a medium, um, I'm wearing a medium right now, so we're going to fix the large. And I don't have the uh, transition shield on, and yes, I can really tell a major friggin difference um, so I got to looking at the seal and I see it's like a small letter N so it's like this well I called Bill and I talked to Chuck and Chuck's like Call Bell and tell him. Well, I got two helmets this is uh, doing it to. And when it first started happening, I thought, eh, I must have had the shield cracked. Cracked up a bit. Eh, not true. Because it happened on the uh, first time, and then, uh, Come on, people. Jesus Christ. So I looked at both helmets, and they're both not sealing on the sides. So I called Bell, and they're like, all right, send them in. And they gave me a, what do you call it, RMA number or whatever. But I've already drilled holes in the uh, my other helmet for that uh, rotational thing, the caster. So I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to take that off and wear that. And then I discovered that that thing is like an N shaped, an upside down U. So my plan is I'm going to get some silicone. And I'm going to squirt it up in there, and uh, hopefully that'll keep it uh, pressed out. All right, NT8 problem solving. Y'all know I got these new Bell Revolver helmets, and. Uh, I really like the helmet. I think they're pretty good. I got a medium and a large. And 
problem is getting leakage inside the face shield and I've turned these screws and adjusted these out on both sides to tighten it up as much as I can it's not fixing it so I got to looking at the seal and I see this thing's like a small letter N it's like this so in order to push this seal out towards the face shield I bought this Permatex Ultra Black so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bead down on the inside of that seal which hopefully will push it out and then when the shield is down it will seal so game on I can find you gotta cut this pretty thin because we're gonna do it that way Now I chose black because I don't really want it to show up that much. So the beads in. Running my finger over it. Take the excess and run it into that groove wherever it looks weak. Anyway, I, when Cash Store One did his video on the Bell Revolver, he told me about this, and he used a piece of uh, foam with a double back tape. So we're going to NTA it. Are you waiting on me? No, it's fine. Now it just has to dry. All right, done deal. Now you just got to wait for it to dry. Now let it sit overnight and keep the face shield up all night. And then we'll go from there.